Angels hosting the Mets. The Mets are minus 148 on the money line. The Angels are plus 126. The over-under is 10 runs. The Mets laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 104, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the pregame lineups. They might change the closer we get to first pitch later on this afternoon, depending upon how much money people win or lose with the Olympics and the regular baseball. Now, Quintana has not pitched against the Angels either last season or this season. Canning went once against the Mets last year. Seven innings, one run, one earned. They lost that game 3-2 to two in New York, and he struck out nine batters in that game. Now, the weather for this game, I have to find it, but it's SoCal, so it should be beautiful. 88 degrees with 7-mile-an-hour winds blowing out and no rain. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five five against each other. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 5-5 five five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The under is 5-4-1, and one, and the under 10 is 6-3-1. and one. The Mets are 3-2 and two in Quintana's last five starts. They've won his last two starts. The over is 3-2 and two in those starts. Six innings pitched, 3.8 hits, 1.4 earned runs, five strikeouts, 2.2 walks, one home run per game, 95 pitches per game, 15.7 pitches per inning, and his one, he gave up four home runs in one start, so that's why he's averaging a home run a game over his last five starts. For Canning, they are 3-2 and two in his last five starts. They've won his last two starts as well. The over-under is 2-2-1. Two, two and one. Four and a third innings pitched, 5.8 hits, 3.8 earned runs, 4.4 strikeouts, 2.2 walks, one home run per game, but he has given up a home run in his last five starts. 84 pitches per game, 18.4 pitches per inning. The Mets are 6-4 in their last 10. Two runs, 11 runs, 6 runs, 9 runs. Two runs and a win, three runs and a loss, five runs and a win, and then four runs and a loss yesterday. And for the Angels, 4-6 and six in their last 10, 1-3 and three in their last four. Three runs, 9 runs, 6 runs, 9 runs. One run and a loss, four runs and a loss, one run and a loss, five runs and a win. Quintana's pitching a little bit better in his last handful of starts. And you can't take the chance that that one home run that Canning gives up is going to be the difference between the win and the loss. I'm going to take the Mets with the money line. I will take the Mets laying the runs and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.